Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Back to the Cardboard. Just came back from the mailbox and got a couple of through the mail autographs to open, so stay tuned to this episode. I'm going to give a couple of shout outs and we're going to open some mail, so let's go. <laughs> All right, first envelope we got here. Come out of that card. All right, Mr. Brian Harvey. Uh, it took Mr. Harvey here nine days to turn around these cards for me. I sent him three cards. He signed all three and Lou Sharpie there. Uh, Mr. Harvey finished second the American League Rookie of the Year balloting in 1988 to none other than Mr. Chris Sabo. Uh, he did finish first in the Sporting News uh, Rookie Pitcher of the Year in 88, which was pretty cool, American League Rookie Pitcher of the Year in 88. Uh, he played from 87 through, 87 through 95 with the Angels and Marlins only. Two-time All-Star, 91 and 93, Won the American League Rollades Relief Man of the Year Award in 91 with 46 saves. Um, was the American League saves leader in that year. Mr. Brian Harvey. Didn't have no Marlins cards to send him, but he sent all three. Or he signed all three, which I thought was pretty cool. All right, next up. Next up. Through the mail autograph is one, there. one card. Oh, no, two cards. My bad. Mr. Tim Naring took Tim 33 days, and he lives in Cincy, which is just a couple hours, hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes from here. Uh, Tim played with the Boston Red Sox from 90 through 97. Boston Red Sox only a solid offensive player and a defensive player good with the glove um, in 95 he hit 307 with 10 home runs and 57 RBIs uh, for the American League East champion Red Sox uh, in 97 he was on his way to his best season um, through 70 games he had hit 286 with 9 home runs and 40 RBIs uh, then he hurt his shoulder and that Pretty much ended his season and his career. Uh, got hired on after retiring as a player development guy with the Cincinnati Reds, and he's currently uh, the vice president of uh, baseball operations with the Yankees, which I thought was pretty cool. But that's Mr. Tim Nering. Hey, I guess you guys can see uh, the change in venue. Uh, since I shot my video there, my wife has decided to remodel the kitchen. And when I say remodel, I mean remodel. Uh, we're talking floor, walls, ceiling, cabinets, the whole nine yards. So needless to say, I have been displaced. This coronavirus thing is killing me. So, uh, I don't know when I'll get to return to shooting videos, but anyway, uh, I want to give a real couple real quick shout outs. Uh, first guy I got here is Vintage Card Steve. Uh, Steve's been a real big supporter of my channel and a really great guy. Has a really awesome channel. Check him out, man. He is a big Cubs fan and has an amazing, amazing uh, vintage collection. Uh, I'm jealous, I have to admit. And uh, that's uh, Vintage Card Steve. So check check out his channel and you won't be disappointed. And then lastly here, but certainly not least, is Mr. Zombie Collector, uh, Jason. Uh, really great guy, really awesome channel. Check him out, really genuine, down to earth kind of guy. Uh, I consider him a friend. Uh, can't say too many good things about him. I know he's somewhat controversial and kind of sometimes rubs, rubs people the wrong way, but hey, uh, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. That's all I got to say. And um, Jason is a 
big uh, Japanese baseball play player collector, likes Ichiro, uh, Mr. Don Manningly. And what I like about him most of all is he's a Cincinnati Reds fan. And hey, you gotta love that. So that is Mr. Zomb Zombie Collector. Uh, check him out, check his channel out. And hey folks, that's all I got. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. And God bless you. God bless America. And well, I'll see you whenever my kitchen gets back in order. So uh, until next time.